welcome. Welcome. So we, <laughs> look at Angel. Angel, what are you doing? You tired? Yeah, you took off down to mommy's room, huh? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> She's so silly right now. She is so cute. Angel, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, girl? So I'll wait a little bit here. Hey, Neek. Nice to see you in here. Hi, Neek. Hey, Taylor. I have a feeling YouTube is screwing up again with their notifications. So, guys, if you're not getting notifications, it's best to unclick the notification the and re-click it. Oh, the hotspot. Yeah. Neek said hi to you, Jackie. Hello, Jennifer. Hey, baby. Hi, Angel. Angel, hi. Hi, baby. You are being so cute right now. I mean, you're always cute, but you are being super silly and cute. Hey, Lady Boss. Christmas baby, hi. Tear Drop Rose Reborn Nursery. Mario and Emily Sanchez, AMSR Queen. Hello, 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 and welcome, guys. Welcome. Hi, this is Angel. If you guys have seen the video. Uh, oh, Leanna Witt. Oh, my God, I subbed. Yay. I'm good. I'm good. I am good. It's Friday, and it just feels like I've been so exhausted from taking care. Oh, I forgot about that light. <laughs> taking care of her and worrying about her and doing all my normal stuff. It's just super, super exhausting. Excuse me. Um, drink a Dr. Pepper and it's very bubbly. Let's see. It's a night stream. It's a night. Wait, it's night. A used stream. I don't, I don't understand that sentence. Sorry. She is a sweetheart. Angel. Angel. Can you say hello? Angel. What are you doing over here? What are you biting? You're biting your toe? Oh, and now you're going to bite me? You're going to bite me? I love Dr. Pepper. It's one of my favorite things. It is Diet Dr. Pepper, which tastes almost like regular Dr. Pepper. Um, So we're here with Angel. We wanted to give a big shout out, a thank you to um, everyone who has donated to her GoFundMe. Um, I know some people are like, I did, first off, I didn't even start this GoFundMe. A good friend of mine started it. And I know that there has been some talk, and I get this a lot, uh, comes with having so many subs on your channel, but a lot of people seem to think I'm rich running this YouTube channel, and um, I wish I was. I actually don't make a lot of money from YouTube now, and it's been something that I've been looking into for a long time, went to some programs to try to see why my YouTube doesn't pull in a lot of money, and nobody has an answer, because I've talked to other creators with like my size of my channel and they make really good money, but I don't even make enough money to pay my rent <laughs> with my YouTube. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> so, um, I just want to, you know, I thank you to everybody who has donated to her GoFundMe. It's been amazing. Um, I would love to get to the full goal of the GoFundMe to take her to UC Davis for the surgery. But I just don't think time is going to allow that. Um, Today has been a really kind of off day for um, Angel, and she's a miniature golden doodle. I, I'm not sure if I've actually uh, answered that question, but I think time is work. She's had an off day today. She's had some pretty um, rapid breathings, more than rapid. Uh, <laughs> they're already rapid, but faster than normal, and um, that's very concerning. And so we are looking that... As soon as we raise enough money to do the experiment surgery, we are probably going to do that because it is much le much more affordable than taking her to Davis. And if I can't get the funds to take her to Davis, then we have no options. But a vet has volunteered to actually do the surgery on their own um, because it, it is a relatively super easy surgery. But it's just the, um, the medication expense and the... Uh, making sure she's breathing while the surgery. So it's the same thing like when humans get surgery done, actually. But it's a really easy surgery. It's just, you know, making sure 
she stays alive during the surgery. So I will take the risk and do the risk surgery just because that is, um, just because that is, it's worth the risk because if I do nothing at all, then she's going to die. And, um, Hi, yeah. So one thing Hi, that bottle babies reborn has asked, Hi, does anyone baby. here have an oxygen concentrator? They're Hi, not using. Baby. That is a really good, um, question so um we are if anyone has one of those the what is it called again oxygen concentrator that you're not using i would love to pay you for it or whatever um as long as it's within reason price because she could use that um to have some oxygen therapy at home she doesn't require oxygen therapy right now like going to the vet but it would be nice to just be able to give her some oxygen. In um, case of an emergency. Well, in case of emergency and then throughout the day just to kind of help her out a little bit more would be amazing. Because when she was on the oxygen at the vet, the first vet in Oregon, she was like, she didn't even know she had heart issues. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to, you know, really thank you all for your support on the GoFundMe for her. The link will be shared. Um, have you shared it yet? Oh, Jackie's going to share the GoFundMe Rosie link. Rosie Apple, she says she donated um, $50. Rosie Apple, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, every, you know, it's not even about how much you donate. In all reality, like, if you did want to donate and you feel like you can't afford, a dollar is like a huge donation you have no idea um because every penny really matters What's but the name of your campaign it's called say uh a save angel no angel's life save angel's life okay. i don't i didn't i don't know thank you avatar fan 1000 uh 10000 for giving 40 dollars that's super amazing um what's your email let me see what some local places can help Okay, cool. Steffi, um, Steffi, sorry. Yeah, if you can put up my email, Steffi M is looking for it. She's going to contact some places for uh, maybe give you a... That's so awesome. Thank you. And the help is like, man, I've had people reach out to me with just uh, different, you know, information, different food suggestions, um, all kinds of stuff. Sharing the link. If you can't even donate... Oh my gosh, sharing the link is amazing. Um, like I said, the donations, no do, no donation is better than the other. Um, a dollar is huge for us, and sharing the link is huge for us. So if you guys can definitely just share the link, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, as soon as we hit the goal of the experiment surgery, we're, we're going to close the campaign because, well... I mean, unless today we somehow hit $15,000, but um, she's going to have to do the experiment surgery because she, I really want to try to get her in no later than next month. It's, you know, I can imagine how she feels. Um, I'll donate the oxygen kennel tent if we can get a concentrator for her. Thank you, Bottle Re uh, Babies Reborn. So, okay, so Steffi M., um, is going to message me bottle babies reborns. So we'll be all in the loop. So she says, I have great Steffi M says, I have great people I work with here in Ohio that help with fur babies and needs. Oh, that's so awesome. Jackie did put up my email. So if you no, happen, didn't. you didn't, it's the GoFundMe. Oh, can you please put up my email? Cause, um, Steffi needs it. Okay. But yeah, so we wanted to come on here, just show you Angel. She's asleep now, which she definitely, um, oh, it was Taylor that shared it. Because I'm like, I swear I saw my email come up. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> but um, so this is kind of, you can see like something that I have to do quite regular. Like, even though this is a bit fast in her breathing, this is kind of good. It's not super fast. Like earlier today, it was probably... Man, I don't know. It's probably like double that. So we have to really pay attention to how many breaths she takes in 10 seconds. <laughs> because her um, resting breath is of that of like a puppy that's been playing. But they want us to monitor it because they don't want um, her breathing levels to get higher 
the breaths per 10 seconds higher than a certain rate. And sometimes they have gotten briefly higher, but I just give her a little extra medication and it helps out. I would love to poodles because she's a golden doodle. So she's a golden retriever with mixed with poodle. She has this poodle eye for sure. It does that leaky stuff. Um, I wanted to, um, I've been wanting to clean it, but she puts up such a fight with it. And any kind of little fight for her is just total stress for her. So, like, we gave her a bath two days ago. We were told to bathe her because the vet gave us um, um, flea medication for her. And so they asked us to bathe her. And, oh, my gosh, even though, like, I took her in the shower with me, she, um, thank you, Bottle Babies Reborns. I would love how to deal with the poodle eye for her. Um, they, uh, what was it? So this, the bath really stressed her out, actually. Her whole day was off. She just wasn't feeling well. You could just tell, like, her, she was just totally stressed out. So, um, look at her. She is out. <laughs> <laughs> you are out for the count. No, all day she's been like, that. Today she has been a bit more sleepy than usual. Oh, you're, yeah, we have a poodle. You know, we have a purebreded miniature poodle, but she does not get the eye problem. Mm -mm. She does not have that eye problem, which is, it's, it's crazy because she's a mix and she's got it. Yeah, she does need surgery as soon as possible. And that's why we're almost, we are very close to the, um... Yeah, we do know what's wrong with her. We're very close to the m m money that we need to do the experiment surgery. We do know what's wrong with her. She has a grade 6 PDA, which uh, it's a murmur. It's the worst kind of birth defect on her heart that she was born with. Um, so it's pretty bad. So she's constantly just overworking this little heart. But it's, it's fixable, which is really good. It's just very expensive. Oh, I know, Paula. She says, well, that's crazy with your subscribers. it's That's a shame. It's raining over there. Could it be dampness? Breaks my heart about Angel. She could have... She Does she have a plug tear duct? No, that's just part of the poodle thingy. Cecilia had a white poodle. The eye goo is for real. Yeah, our daughter has a white poodle. She's a miniature poodle. But she does not have the eye goo, which is... It's crazy. But Angel, she has caught it. But if I mess with her... She just, she does not like it. She's like, no. Uh, the experiment surgery is just the place where we go. We have some really well-educated vets. There's even some that come from a, I was paying attention. They ha took, went to the vet school in London, which is crazy. But there's a vet there who is confident that he can perform the surgery and she'll make it. So uh, the sparkly duck. What's happening? I just joined. We just came on here. We wanted to share Angel with everybody just to say thank you to everyone who's donated to the GoFundMe. Um, that we really appreciate it. We've almost come up with the amount that we can do the surgery here at the vet, um, which is more risky than going to UC Davis where, you know, they have the actual heart surgeon doing it. But the thing is, is that that's like $15,000 and, Unfortunately, pet insurance does not cover pre-existing um, issues. And so, you know, we are grabbing everywhere. <laughs> Fall in love. I'm looking through bills to see what I can donate. Talking to family and friends to see if they can help too. Oh, you are so nice. Pippa White, please notice me. My dog is a mini poodle and a Bichon Freeze mix, and she's called Elsie. Me and Elsie virtually virtually cuddle virtual cuddle angels oh that's so sweet mary stranger hi steph big fan thank you yeah if you guys can just keep warm thoughts coming to her she's very strong i mean she is let's see yeah not to be a downer but i've cared for lots of these guys and even though she may look good on video um, but she's not going to be here in six to eight weeks without surgery. Yeah, that's really how, yeah, there's not a long time. And to come up with $15,000 would definitely need more than six to eight weeks. So that's why we're just going to, um, uh, that's why we're going to go with the alternative surgery. Let's see, we've got 
Do you think it could do a stress? Does she get a lot of attention or play too much? No, Freaks and Geeks, um, she is in her own area. She's got like a two by, I don't know, five foot area. She's got a little pen that she's in. It's uh, set up for her very comfortably. She is in there most of the time. Um, we do hold her occasionally, but not a lot because it does put pressure. So you have to hold her differently. Or what I do is I bring her out and I let, when I'm sitting and doing something on the couch, I bring her out and I let her sleep right here. But no, she doesn't do a lot of playtime. She actually, right before this video, we did let her have her um, first out of the kennel today and so she did a little roaming around the house but she doesn't do much we don't allow her to do much we don't allow her to go outside we don't allow a lot <laughs> <laughs> because we're just trying to keep her healthy and not stressed or anything as, like as that healthy as we could possibly we <laughs> yeah. don't want her to get sick it's so cold outside yeah we don't want her to and i mean then there's viruses and yeah and things she can yeah, and we're just trying to right now maintain her health where it is um, until we can do what we need to do. So we're almost there, but we just wanted to just bring her on here, <laughs> share with you guys, let you see her, get a little peek at this baby, and um, just, you know, thank you because it's just really been awesome. You guys are really awesome, and we appreciate all the help. Everybody has been um, giving us advice, money, whatever, sharing our post. We really appreciate it all. So it's just, we just wanted to take time out of our day. And um, and thank you guys for taking time out of your day to join mm -hmm. us here. And yeah. Yeah. Let's see what a Gen Z. Yeah, if she gets a surgery, it's 90% chance she's going to survive and live a great life. So it's a really high chance. And she will get the surgery. We are close to the, um, we're close enough to. So she has two surgery options. Mm -hmm. She has the $15,000 surgery, which is, of course, the ideal surgery because she has to go to a vet hospital. and Or she has uh, the other alternative. It's the same surgery, but it's not done at a hospital. It's done here by our local vet, and it's $1,500. $1,500 for that surgery. The same surgery that she would have had at the hospital, except... Done by... It's done by... Surgeons who are expertise in the heart. So... So, um, based on, uh, you know, how Angel's doing, we really do think we're just going to be doing the $1,500 surgery for her. Mm-hmm. And um, as soon as we meet that goal... Um, or we're so close funny, enough, or like... if we have the extra money yeah. to put the difference, we are going to take her in. Yeah, this this surgery is definitely going to take place um, soon. Soon. Very soon. Her, her breathing has definitely slowed down. Yeah, she's in a good sleep right now, which is really good. I hate it when she passes out on the couch because I'm like... I mean, she starts breathing so fast, you guys. Like, we count her breaths because um, her vet recommended that we do. In 10 seconds, she would do 25 breaths. I mean, think about it. That is very fast. Mm -hmm. Times that times six. What is that? Um, 150? I don't know. I need uh, a calculator. I'm sorry. I can't even think. <laughs> I think 150 breaths per minute. That is a lot. Uh, Diana <laughs> asked, Diana Long may ask, how much more money do we need? So, uh, we, we're at 800, I believe. Yeah. So they told us at the vet, it's going to be about between 1500 to 2000. Really? Well, 1500, but if we have more, it's good because you know, the medication carrying forward, oh, the, the medication. you know, the appointments and stuff like that. Oh, so 1500 is going to get her surgery done and then um whatever is left like if we raise more than that it goes to the next year of her care that she's gonna need and all that stuff freaks and geeks it's so upsetting what has happened to her i feel guilty for some reason oh you shouldn't feel guilty this is a birth defect i mean humans are born with it this right here is you know nobody's fault um it's just and she is passed out she really is passed out it's kind of scary <laughs> but because the, i never see her look at her as, 
I love it when she stretches. You know, she does go into deep sleeps, which is really nice. Um, when you put her on the couch, uh-huh. she just, like, is a deep sleeper here. I wish I could put the couch in her kennel. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, she'll fall asleep here, and then I'm like, oh, man, I got to go work, and I can't leave her on the couch because she falls. It'll kill her. And so um, I have to go put her over there, and she never – she eventually gets into a deep sleep there, but she sleeps the best here on the couch. Let's see. Fall in love. I have a soft spot for animals, and she's the same name in weakness even more. Oh, I know. Yeah, we have a soft spot for animals, too. <laughs> that's why we have a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's Yeah, that's why. Well, we don't have a lot. I mean, we have a few, but that's why we took her home, because we really didn't. Well, we thought she wouldn't be as bad as she is. We were hoping that it would be a small grade murmur. Um. But yeah, you know, but well, she's yeah, great. Yeah, never hope for the worst. <laughs> oh, uh, bottles and babies. She's never. Pa- she doesn't pass out all the time. She's actually pretty, pretty alert most yeah. of the day. Like I said, today she's just been a little off. I don't know. Her breathing has been very fast today. But yeah, if we can get the oxygen concentrator, sorry, more. would be amazing. So that's that. so today I'm very concerned for her because she's been different. Yeah. Than other days. But her gums are nice colors, so Yeah. She said that having the oxygen will um strengthen her for surgery too. Ooh, we should yeah. totally do that. That's a, that is So, so Steffi M is looking into it. She said we can look on eBay, but if you know, if we get one donated, that's amazing too. Um I haven't looked on eBay and I don't always trust buying those kind of things from ebay let's see buy a mini couch to put in your kennel <laughs> that's what i was thinking at marshall's they have little pet couches oh yeah that's <laughs> right but then i was thinking she is it's different, i don't think they, they're as comfortable as yeah, the, it's, this it's so yeah it's different as the one as these big ones yeah it's yeah it's definitely different i'm thinking joe didn't make it in here Maybe he passed out. <laughs> yeah, he might have fallen asleep. He's had a rough week. Well, I was... <laughs> we're actually... Th- I just want to get on here and thank you guys. It kind of went longer than I expected because I've been waiting for Cho to join in, but I think he might have fell asleep. But we will do another uh, video soon again with you guys. And um, Joe is putting together a Facebook page. Thank you, Steffi. She says she's put out a few calls right now. Joe's putting together a Facebook page for her. And um, he'll be doing updates on the GoFundMe. I don't have any access to any of that. So that's all him. He does ask me for photos and how she's doing every day. And um, then, you know, he updates that as well. And he is very thankful and grateful as well for all the help. So, yeah. Well, guys, I hope you have a great Friday evening. Jackie and I have to get back to work and... Probably let Angel sleep here for a little bit for a while. Oh, yeah, kitty beanbag couch. Kitty beanbag. Ah, from Walmart, those little beanbag couches. Because oh. they'll, like, mold to her body. She might like that. Yeah, she might like that. I'm going to have to go check that out. Thank you so much for that hey, suggestion. Yeah, if we get one, we'll totally share it with you guys. Yeah, I'm going to totally get her one of those because I think that would be really good for her. All right, guys, well, have a good evening. And if you come Thank up with you. any other ideas suggestions feel free to contact me um leave it in the comment section yeah leave it in the comment section actually comment in the comment section so everybody can communicate with everyone that'd be easier all right guys you all have a great evening Bye. bye